Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today a little bit early for work. I uh, thought I'd talk about the main thing that is going on in WWE right now, which is the AJ Styles uh, versus Roman Reigns match. It's going to be going down at... I can honestly tell you that I'm a little bit confused. I don't even know if it's payback, extreme rules, whatever pay-per-view it's going to be. I don't even know when it's going to be. I don't even know how many weeks there are into the pay-per-view. All I know is that uh, the, the night after WrestleMania, AJ Styles became the number one contender. On Monday Night Raw, um, they decided to have a match uh, where Sami Zayn could have been added into that match to make it a three-way. So I'm not 100% sure if the match is officially going to be just one-on-one, -on -one, AJ versus uh, Roman Reigns. Um, as a, a wrestling fan, that's the way that I think that it should be. Um, I think that it's going to be a really good match. I think they're definitely... Um, having some hanging uh, overtones over uh, what is going on in this match. Roman Reigns has sort of accepted himself as not a fan favorite. Doesn't really make him a heel. Uh, Roman Reigns is basically saying that he's the man. Um, basically, doesn't it means if you don't have to like him, but if you don't want him to be the number one guy, you're going to have to beat him. And I think that's a, a, a good place to put uh, Roman Reigns, uh, where basically you, you know that there's going to be some people who like him, you know there's going to be some people who hate him, but it is what it is, um, sort of like what they did with John Cena, who is the guy that they're trying to make Roman Reigns into. A lot of people would say, Cena went out there and acted like everybody loved him for the longest time. No matter how loud the boos got, uh, he kept on going out there with that cookie cutter, you know, sort of cheesy promo. And, uh, you know, people loved him or people hated him. And that's just the way it was. And he just kept on pushing through because they lived in this make-believe land where everybody loved John Cena and that John Cena sold a lot of t-shirts, John Cena sold a lot of hats, and uh, people were gonna buy the pay-per-views in order to see John Cena. Um, AJ Styles getting pushed up to being the number one spot. A lot of people think that it's just an easy way for uh, Roman Reigns to beat a, a big name uh, and then sort of move on in, in the title picture, sort of sacrificing AJ yet once again. AJ loses at WrestleMania to Chris Jericho. AJ loses in the main event. Uh, to Roman Reigns. Um, does this make him look bad? Honestly, I take a look around the WWE. I know for a long time I was looking forward to seeing Guns and Gallows uh, debut, and uh, they did debut. Uh, they did take out the Usos. Um, looks like they're going to be a tag team force. Looks like they're trying to break up that tag team um, tournament that's going on. I thought that maybe they might you know, show a little bit on SmackDown, but they decided not to show up. Um, which sort of means that this is a really big deal, that they're going to keep this uh, for Monday Night Raw. Um, are they going to, you know, show up in the uh, tag team tournament again? Uh, maybe going after the Dudleys, maybe going after the um, the Usos. Um, shoot, I think Enzo and Kaz got the win, but I can't remember who, who got the other win in the tag team tournaments. Um, but, you know, with them all moving on, are they going to be, you know, sticking... To making beatdowns in the tag team tournament to show that they want to be the the force that there is in the tag team division or are they going to be showing um in different spots i mean are they going to be interfering in different styles of matches to show that they want to rule the whole WWE? they want to run all of monday night raw um so that sort of shows you that guns and gallows could easily be involved um there's been lots of talk of WWE um purchasing the name bullet club or using the name balor club um, definitely the Bullet Club name is staying with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, it doesn't look like the stable is what it once was. I still have questions whether if like the, the elite, um, whether that is, um, Kenny Omega and the, um, Young Bucks, if they are involved, uh, in the Bullet Club or if they're on their own thing. I know that Tama Tonga is there. He's got his brother with him now. Um, Cody Hall is still there. Um, it sort of makes them look like they're the, the NWO B team, um, led by Stevie Ray and Virgil. Um, I, I don't think it's good for New Japan just to sort of kill off that name. Honestly, you know, they got really lucky when they started the Bullet Club. They had um, Finn Balor. They replaced him with AJ Styles. AJ Styles leaves. They don't really have a big name to replace him. Kenny Omega got bumped up, and like I said, he got put into the Elite, which sort of is like the NWO Wolfpack. Um... And they, they, they sort of need another big name in order to replace them. Um, I know that there's, you know, lots of names jumping ship back and forth. Some people are going to be with uh, uh, New Japan. Some people look like they're going to be moving over and going to WWE, uh, being a part of that um, cruiserweight tournament that's going to be going on. But how this all ties in with the Bullet Club talk and everything like that, with Guns and Gallows making their debut in the WWE, is 
you know, they have a connection to AJ Styles. They have a connection with the Bullet Club. Um, you know, they, they've rode together. They've done podcasts together. They've, they've been on the bus. They've been on the train. They've been on the planes. Um, these guys have a relationship. Is WWE going to want to play off that relationship? Um, is it going to be weird if WWE turns AJ Styles heel? Sometimes when I watch the show, I feel like they don't have enough baby faces. Sometimes I feel like they don't have enough heels. Uh, that's because I, I don't believe in a lot of the characters that they have because of them making guys like Bray Wyatt never win a match. The uh, League of Nations, once they join together, seems like they never won a match. Um, they, they downplay these guys not to really have any um, steam behind them because they want to make it where the good guy always wins and it is what it is and you just really can't believe in them. AJ Styles I think is going to be a great baby face in the WWE. Will there be a time when he turns heel? Yeah, I, I do think that, that that will come out because the times in his, his career, whether it's with the Bullet Club um, or in TNA, I thought AJ Styles has been a great heel. Um, and and I, thought, I thought there is money behind that, but I think there's more money in AJ Styles being a babyface and having killer matches and being a guy that people want to get behind. So I don't think Guns and Gallows is coming in order to help him. Um, but that does make a weird thing if you think of Guns and Gallows being connected with Roman Reigns uh, and having a, you know sort of a new shield um, put together. Um, it's out there. It's weird. Um, when Roman Reigns was at his hottest, he definitely was in a threesome group. Um, having Guns and Gallows uh, join him and be the muscle behind it uh, would be fun. Um, but maybe they just interfere in the match just to cause havoc and basically make people think, are they with AJ? Are they with Roman? And in the end, they're with neither of them. Um, Finn Balor, there's been lots of talk about what's going on with Finn in, in NXT. It doesn't look like they're really got anything going with him uh, with the tapings that they did at, uh, at, at Access. Uh, why they're putting the NXT Championship on ice, uh, I don't really know. Um, but uh, are they going to do another Samoa Joe match? Um, you know, Are they going to have Apollo Crews come back, um, which he already lost a match on television? Uh, are they going to have him get into the title picture, which was I thought they were doing anyways. If, if I were to bet money on what the NXT Dallas show uh, was going to be headlined by a few months ago, I really thought TV was pointing towards Apollo Crews going up against um, Finn Balor. I thought that was going to be the match, and they did the whole um, you know three-way deal with Baron Corbin, um, Sami Zayn, and uh, Samoa Joe, and then they ended up doing the Sami Zayn-Samoa Joe match. So... You know, this is a hot match. I can't really tell you much that's going else on in WWE right now. But, um, you know, AJ versus Roman is something that I think a lot of the fans are going to get behind. And I think it is going to be hot leading them into the uh, foreseeable future of uh, SummerSlam and, and what for not uh, in WWE.